Class D amps based on Hypex modules are found all over the place and given the price of the modules some expect cheap deals. And those are around. This is of a different class, a different D class. Let's start with how to use this power amp. Of course it needs to be connected to a pair of matching speakers and a source. That source can be the matching CI Audio DMC1 network player. You then only need to connect that to the power amp over RCA cables and to the network using either Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. The network player is controlled from a tablet, smartphone or computer. But you can also set up a classic stereo by adding a preamplifier for input selection and volume control. Then you can add a number of sources to the preamplifier like a CD player or network player. The latter will need a network connection. The housing is made of thick aluminium and is well crafted. It measures 215 by 230 by 73 mm and weighs 2.7 kilos. The front only holds a power button with integrated blue power light as ring around the button. The rear holds the IEC mains input with integrated fuse holder. Then per channel an input on RCA, a gain setting that is normally set at 26 dBs but for use with passive control amps it should be set to 32 dB. Remains the 5-way loudspeaker binding posts. When we open the top we see a large black cage holding the switch mode power supply. Let me say it once again, switch mode power supplies are not necessarily a bad thing. If it's well designed and built, it can be equal to a well designed and built linear power supply. The cage around it holds away any stray magnetic field from the audio parts. Then we see two Hypex class D OEM modules, which are only partly used. CI developed their own input circuit for, as far as I can see, by discrete components. Also the power supply section is skipped. We see this more often and it always leads to very good results, at least in my experience. There is really nothing to say about using the C100S. Just connect the source, like a preamp, DAC or network player to the inputs and speakers to the outputs. You do need a source that has a volume control of course. If that has a passive volume control, as with the CI Audio Control Center, you have to set the gain at the back of the amp at 32 dB gain. Do this when the amp is switched off. Class D amps need not stay on all the time. After the burn in time they sound well almost immediately when switched on. Class D amps can have a nasal character and sound somewhat aggressive in the top end, but they always sound firm, powerful in the lows. Still that combination does not even produce a fine open bass sound. The C100S proves that it can be done differently too. And then the low end is not powerful in a cheap way, but rather deep, fully controlled with a fine texture. The mid range is up front without being aggressive and the highs are what you expect of a power amp in this price range. This is a fine sounding amp that is not afraid of difficult loads either. Quality wise it is to be placed in between my setup 2 and setup 1. I have reviewed this amp since it is such a nice combination with the CI Audio DMC1 network player. Together they function very well while being compact and only controllable over a smartphone, tablet or computer. Just add two quality speakers and you have a very musical setup. But if you need a good power amp for your current stereo and it fits your demands, it's a good choose choice for that too. Class D amps typically are over 90% efficient, meaning they produce very little heat and consume clearly less power than a class AB amp. So it's green too. Which concludes this show. There will be a new show every Friday at 5 pm Central European time. 
If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.